Hey there, everyone. It's Michael, and we're doing Fish and Chow Quiver. Oh, man. This is going to be the chicken pot pie of the century. Oh, man. If I ever did see. Those would be useful to me if I had some ammo gone. Hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's, what's killing me? Oh, hi. <laughs> Okay, it'd help if I used a different weapon. Do I have any renditions of this now? Ammo 48. Okay, that's a pretty random max number of ammo you can have for this. Spikes. We now have spiky balls. Spiky balls. More spiky balls. You can never have enough. I love the sound those guys make when they die. Hey! I don't like this level, it's very maze-ish. Still don't like those guys, they're annoying. Medkit, oh yeah. Good one too. Oh, you die. I'm all over the place. It's worth noting that this is indeed the best song in the entire game. And at that, it's not even really that swell. It totally does not sound like a cat being swelled by a curling iron. Oh, that's a bad image. This game's gonna slow down. Whoa! You're gonna die. Actually, you're gonna die to my... Wait for it. Where is it? Somewhere here. Somewhere. I guarantee it. Which weapon is it? Is it eight? Nine. No. Zero? I do not have weapon number seven. It's a mirror. You use it to deflect enemy attacks. It's actually a really clever weapon. No, I have no idea what this is. It's the pistol only with a single shot. This one is the weapon that kills you. Okay, now believe it or not, we don't actually have to be in this room anymore. In fact, I don't think we even have to jump for the entire rest of the game. So we got one gate orb. And now we're gonna go to the scary part. Because this is the part with the Nintendo DS boxes. That was weird. The Nintendo DS boxes of DOOM! This place is a big freaking maze that you can easily get lost in. And this is this is the scary thing. You know how I said in the first part how there was endless amounts of scary rooms that were just pointless? This room is just chucked full of them. Guess what? This is one of them. Out of literally hundreds. Uh, I'm really tired of when that happens. I really gotta change that. I haven't even used that weapon, barely. I think I should show off the alien weapons a little bit. Not this thing, though. That thing sucks. That's what this does. Kind of tether stuff. This thing is what kills you. In fact, I'm gonna save here before I use it. I'll show you what this does. See that thing? It kills you. Or it hurts you. Whoa! Hi there. Thanks for knocking. Um. Oh, these ones definitely kill you. I will show you that if I can find the chicken pot pie of truth. Oh, well, do you know I went in a big old random circle? Okay, that usually kills me. Basically, you're This is a good weapon. Whoa, K 
Okay, thanks for knocking, guys. Gonna go around and look for what squeaked at me. It's probably right in my face, and I just can't see it because I'm a guy with a toothpick. But who isn't a guy with a toothpick? That is one thing that will happen once in your life. Where is he? There you are. The enemies in this game suck. I'm sorry, it's just very apparent. And this has been another pointless room. I think we're approaching the end of the level. Oh, this has been another pointless room. Pointless Room Mania will continue after we pay. Here's Teddy! Oh, whoops. Here's someone who's not Teddy. Um. I never read this game's story, thus I do not know who the main character is. But judging by how they made this game, I doubt they even really thought of much of a story. Now, the looping to the music sucks. Probably because it's emulated. It ran so much better on a DOS machine. Ah, welcome to music number, ladies and gentlemen. What's over here? This has been another pointless room. I'm sure we will find something soon. Something soon. Please die, preferably in a fire. That works. That's f whoa. Jeebus. Oh wow, it's a gate orb! I remember I was talking to a friend on the phone while testing out this level. And I came across so many more rooms. Like, I thought there was a bunch of doors and stuff. Like, this whole area is one of those pointless rooms. Let's go back the way we came. From the Nintendo DS boxes from A. Get some spiky balls. Leave. Leave. Oh yeah, you gotta be standing on one specific hotspot when exiting a level. And uh, we didn't get all the kills, didn't get all the secrets, got crap for items, but hey, we actually managed to do something, which is incredible, especially considering this game being the exile vile vomit of the universe. So I'm gonna call this a part two of Quiver. And I'll see you in part three, where we'll do another one of these levels. Hopefully of which is not a nearly as pointless roomy as this. So until then, keep listening to your classic retro juice, bo juice boxes. As not only do they provide a refreshing liquid, now they provide great music. Such as the sounds of the ocean. Oh wait, that's the juice within the liquid container.